In this video, we're going to be using the Razor Rock WDP Lime Shaving Soap along with the Razor Rock Game Changer Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. It's good to have you today. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using the Razor Rock WDP Lime Burst Shaving Soap. I'm not sure this is still available, but they do sell multi-packs and these are in hard pucks. And the price on this, depending on when you get it, because sometimes they put them on sale, sometimes the pucks are like four for $10.99, so that's something like less than a dollar an ounce, which is an exceptional price, and these are very, very hard. So you don't have to use much to make a lather. The scent on this is lime. It's very nice. I like it a lot. And I'm going to show you the ingredients right there off the back of the tub. Now this soap, don't expect it to burst into a super creamy lather right away. It's probably going to go a little bit airy or foamy. And you continue to work it and work it. And you'll get some creaminess out of it. It is very well priced. And I think it's going to hit the spot today. So we look forward to using that. We're also using today a very good value priced stainless steel razor. This is the Game Changer .84. It runs about $54.99 depending on which handle you choose because he has different handle offerings. It's stainless steel made in Canada and a very, very good, nice, smooth razor. I always enjoy use, using this. So let's get into it today. Oh, and before we get too far along, I want to thank Stuart Bender and he is our latest Patreon supporter. So Thank you so much, Stuart. I really appreciate you. All right, as always, we're going to start by misting the face, and this is just plain water. And I remind you, the links for the products will be below the ones that are available, at least. This particular soap, I don't, I'm not sure it's available uh, anymore. The brush for today is, by, uh, by the way, the uh, Razor Rock 400. And we're going all Razor Rock today except for the splash, because I'm still using that wet the face uh, splash. So we did get a pretty good lather out of it, I think. Not bad at all, but again, don't expect this one to go super creamy out of the gate. You're going to have to work hydration in to get it where you want it, but when you do, it's going to be plenty slick enough. And again, these soaps are sub $1 an ounce, depending on when you get them. I think there's a value pack on there right now that does not include this particular scent that's like $14.99 right now, but sometimes they're $9.99. Very good value. And most of the soap that I pressed into the bowl is still there, so maybe if I remember... I will rinse that out and show it to you. Uh, I'll take a picture of it after I'm finished and, and roll it in because you don't use, you don't have to use much of this soap at all. And again, it's very hard, but I'm telling you, I think it's going to hit the spot today. Razor Rock has always been synonymous with good value as far as I'm concerned. And I've been using them for, for years and I'm still a fan. I really enjoy using their products because, you know, like I said before, Really not much is needed just to execute the shave. We don't have to shave quite that far up, so it's not that much. We just need some basic slickness, and we'll be good to go. I cut down a little farther than I, than I wanted on the cheeks there, but that's okay. We'll be all right. There'll be some residual slickness there. All right, let's get going with our Game Changer, which is a very good razor. Really enjoy using it. It's nice and smooth. The blade in it is a Gillette Nasset. That's my go-to blade now. I use that pretty much exclusively these days. I enjoy it because it's plenty sharp enough and also smooth and the price is pretty good too. So it's very nice in my opinion. All right, that is good. Feels super smooth. Uh, I'd say don't be afraid of the 0.84 plate. They have another one too. Is it 0.68 maybe? Yeah, 6.8. They also have 6.8. Um, 8.4 is not menacing. The Razor Rock Game Changer is a very smooth shaver overall, and it just gets it done. It gets it done. And I think some people might shy away from this razor because of the price, but I don't think there's any reason to. And I can remember years ago, I don't know how many years it's been now, Joe from Razor Rock was kind enough to send me a prototype of this razor before it came out, and I tried it, and I really enjoyed it then. And now I don't know how many of these have sold. But I'm imagine, 
I'm imagining he sold hundreds and hundreds of these because in stainless razors, it's hard to find a better value. You know, it's just a great razor. And I don't know if I've found too many people that just absolutely hate the razor. You know, you might find some that's like, ah, you know, it was okay. But for the most part, this is a razor that seems to be enjoyed by most people. Even people who, uh, who tend to only use high-end gear, they tend to say it's a good razor also. So it's really a good offering in my opinion, and it's well-priced, so that's always great. We'll rehydrate here for pass two. And I tell you what, yesterday was a, it was a, an adventurous day because the uh, hot water heater, uh, a hose actually had a little hole in it and it was spraying water everywhere. I had to take my dad for an appointment and it was spraying water all over the place. And uh, I was like, oh no, because <laughs> we had to leave at that time, but uh, it was a, it was a mess. got it fixed, fortunately. And I mentioned this in an unboxing video that you'll see later today, but I'll go ahead and tell you here too. The first thought in my mind was, I hope they don't shut the water completely off because I got to shave. I got to be able to shave in the morning. Uh, that's how crazy I am about shaving. But that was my first thought is, let's leave the cold water on at least, you know. <laughs> but anyway, fortunately we got that fixed. And man, I tell you what, running through these appointments, working and all that, it's got me quite busy indeed Oof. but you know again we're happy to do what we can to try to be a blessing and be helpful and we're making progress a lot of folks have been asking about my mother she's making good progress she is uh you know she's she's doing well she's not ready to do any jumping jacks or anything like that but um she is making progress and that's what we hope for it's a slow process and so we can't expect you know her to be you know, running hurdles overnight, but uh, she is making progress. I'll be honest with you, there was a time there when she was in the hospital uh, at her lowest where I was very afraid. I thought we, I thought we made a mistake, honestly. I was like, oh, this tr transplant seems like a horrible idea because she was mentally exhausted and physically exhausted and uh, she was down, like she was down, down, down. And uh, I was very afraid and very worried. I didn't express it because, you know, you always just want to express positive. You want to give positive vibes at all times when people need it. But uh, I was worried. And for a time, I thought we made a very bad decision because she seemed far worse off than she did before she went in there for the transplant. I'm super weak, just no motivation. Uh, it was It was hard to see, honestly. But after about two days at home, she began to turn around and sort of regain some of her mojo. And then I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. You know, it was, it was, uh, you know, I said a lot of prayers, honestly, because I was extremely concerned, as was my sister. But, you know, we're, we're pulling through it. So, you know, thank you. Thanks to each and every one of you for all the thoughts, prayers, good vibes, whatever you send, whatever you believe in. If it's good, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So there's the update on that. And dad, they're gonna come and do physical therapy here at the house for the, for the knee problem. So hopefully we'll be making some progress on that front as well. But I tell you, when it comes to shaving, we've been just enjoying ourselves and having a great time. So <laughs> that part has been going right, you know, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. And, and I gotta tell you today, we're using budget gear. The brush is budget, the razor is budget, for stainless steel caveat that the soap is very much budget and it's gonna it's gonna result unless i mess it up in a perfect shave so that just goes to prove folks you know you could spend very little and get an outstanding top level shave or you can spend a whole lot and get a very good top level shave it's really up to you but i always say that you know find something within your budget you can still participate in this hobby um on a budget you know, and so you just have to be selective about the products you buy. But I can tell you right now, this lather, even though it's probably not the most creamy lather that I've ever made, it is plenty good enough. It is more than adequate, more than adequate. And so it's allowing me to get a very nice, very nice shave 
um, same as I do every single day. And I use all types of products and get good results with just about all of them. And what does that tell you? You know, as I always say, it's more about you, the shaver, learning to use your gear, learning to know what your face will tolerate. And it's great because every time I say that, a lot of people are like, yes, it took me about three months to figure out what my face would tolerate. That was a big turning point. And it is. If you're new, keep that in mind. Because for me, it wasn't an overnight sensation. I had to struggle for a few weeks, you know, until I learned you can't do that. So, for example, if I make this pass, it is bad for me. That's a no. Skin doesn't like it, so I don't do it. So you have to find out all these things are unique to you. This um, traditional shaving is not a one size fit all thing. So there's no product that's best for everybody. There's no razor that's best for everybody. And anybody that tells you that one single product is best for everybody across the board, walk away. Walk away and talk to someone else. Now, they might say something like I did yesterday. Like, I feel like the Vector is the best single edge razor ever made. That's just my opinion, you know, based on my use. But it doesn't mean it will be for you. So keep that in mind. You might use it and go, eh, it's just okay, you know. But it is great razor. It's an innovative razor. But I never tell you that this is the one. This is the razor that's going to be the one for everybody. You know, there can only be one. You know, Highlander style, I guess. I will never tell you that because you're going to have to figure a lot of that out. Trial and error. And so, I will say there are plenty of selections to choose from. So don't feel um, forced into a decision because you, you have many, many choices, which is a great thing. We always like choice. That's fantastic. And you can take your time and sort of figure out the things that work best for your use case. Use case meaning type of beard you have, type of skin you have, type of water you lather with, the way you make your lather. Your use case is critically important. I try to reiterate, reiterate that from time to time. Not a lot of people talk about that. I do. Um, because your use case may vary for me. You may not be a daily shaver. You may shave every few days and that might call for something a little different perhaps. You know, you might want something different or you might find you want to use a bomb or something after to, to yeah, moisturize. All of that is okay, of course, if you need it. But I tell you what, this, this shave today, $59, or excuse me, $54.99 for this all stainless steel razor. You can't beat it. It's an exceptional, <laughs> it really is an exceptional value. The soap, less than a, far less than a dollar an ounce. Perfect result. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No neck cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Magic Made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Today we use the WDP Lime. And I'm gonna tell you folks, I got an excellent top rate shave with it. I also got an excellent top raised shave with the Razor Rock Game Changer. Again, $54.99, all stainless steel. To me, this is one of the great, all time greats. Um, very well priced and it is really, really excellent in my opinion. I enjoyed that very much. We used the Razor Rock 400 brush, which is also a good value. And it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And I wanted to show you the soap that I have left over. And I took about two little pieces of soap that were a little more than a pea and press them in there. And I would say maybe I used maybe 10 to 15% of the soap because most of it is still in there because I didn't press much in there. So this soap being very, very hard is a very good value. Generally speaking, the harder the soap, the better the value, generally speaking. So very, very nice on that. And we're gonna finish it out today with the Wet the Face the Quiet Man aftershave complete with the floaties. And one thing to keep in mind, folks, you might want expensive gear and that's okay. I like using it too. I'm with you. But if someone tells you you need to spend seven, eight dollars an ounce for soap or you need to spend four, five hundred dollars for a razor, walk away. Just excuse yourself and walk away because you don't need it. You may want it. There's a distinction to be made there. What you need and what you want might be two different things. If you want it, that's okay. But if they tell you you have to spend that money to get a great shave, walk away. Come over here, we'll coach you up. You can, I'll, I'll put you on some good value gear. 
All right. Thanks so much for watching today, folks. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.